Manipur is a state in northeastern India, with the city of Imphal as its capital. The state is sometimes referred to by alternative names such as Kanglipak and Mitilipak. It is bounded by Nagaland to the north, Mizoram to the south, and Assam to the west. Burma lies to its east. The state covers an area of 22,327 square kilometers. Its people include the Mite, Kiki, Naga, Pangal, Gorkhali and Bishnupriya Manipuri, who speak different types of Tibeto-Burman languages. Manipur has been at the crossroads of Asian economic and cultural exchange for more than 2,500 years. It has long connected Indian subcontinent to Southeast Asia, enabling migration of people, cultures and religions. It has also witnessed many wars, including fighting during World War II. Manipur was one of the princely states of British India. Between 1917 and 1939, the people of Manipur pressed for their rights against the British Raj. By late 1930s, the princely state of Manipur negotiated with the British administration its preference to be part of India, rather than Burma. These negotiations were cut short with the outbreak of World War II. On September 21, 1949, Maharaja Budha Khandra signed a treaty of accession merging the kingdom into India. This merger is disputed by various groups in Manipur as having been completed without consensus and under duress. The dispute and different visions for future has led to a 50-year insurgency in the state for independence from India, as well as to violence between different ethnic groups within the state. Over 2010 a Euro 2013, the militant insurgency was responsible for the violent death of about one civilian per 100,000 people, each year. The world's average annual death rate from intentional violence has been 7.9 per 100,000 people. The Mite, who live primarily in the state's valley region, form the primary ethnic group. Tribal people constitute 30% of the state population. The term Mite includes Mite Saunamohi, Mite Christians, Mite Hindus and Mite Brahmins. The language of Mite people, Mitialon, is the lingua franca in the state and is one of the languages listed in the eighth schedule of the Indian constitution. Other than Mite people, Manipur has a diverse group of ethnic groups speaking different languages and dialects, variously practicing Hinduism, Christianity, Sanamarism, Buddhism, Islam and other folk religions. Manipur is primarily an agrarian economy, with significant hydroelectric power generation potential. It is connected by daily flights through Imphal Airport, the second largest airport in the northeastern India. Manipur is credited with popularizing the horseback sport polo to Europe. It is the Indian state where Captain Robert Stewart and Lieutenant Joseph Shearer of British colonial era first watched locals play a rules-based Pula or Sigorkangje game in 1859, rules they spread as polo, first to Calcutta and then in England. Etymology Manipur had been known throughout the ages as Kanglipak or Mitilipak as well as by more than 20 other names. Sanamohi Lakan wrote that Manipur's new nomenclature was adopted in the 18th century during the reign of Myodingu Pumhuba. According to Sakok Lamlan, the area had different names according to the era. During the Hayak period, it was known as Myaikoya and Poire Namthaksarunpung or Tilikoktungahanba, then in the Kunungkak period as Mira Pungthaklam. During the Langbachak era, it became Tilikoktung Lakoiran and finally Muapali in the Konnachak epoch. Neighboring cultures had differing names for Manipur and its people. The Shan or Pong call the area Kase, the Burmese Kaith, and the Assamese Mekli. In the first treaty between the British East India Company and Myodinga Ching Thang Khomba signed in 1762, the kingdom was recorded as Mekli. Bagyak Khandra and his successors issued coins engraved with Manipurishwa, or Lord of Manipur, and the name Mekli was discarded. Later on, the Sanskritization work, Dharani Simhita popularized the legends of the origin of Manipur's name. History Manipur was one of the many hundreds of kingdoms of the South and Southeast Asia. The history of Manipur dates back from nearly 3000 BC. Its first king who ruled from Kangla at Imphal in 33 AD was Myodinga Nondor Lair and Poak Hangba. Manipur came under British rule as a princely state. During World War II, Manipur was the scene of many fierce battles between the Japanese and the British Indian forces. 
the Japanese were beaten back before they could enter Imphal, which was one of the turning points of the war. After the war, the Manipa Constitution Act of 1947 established a democratic form of government, with the Maharaja as the executive head. In 1949, Maharaja Budhak Handra was summoned to Shilling, capital of the Indian province of Meghalaya where he signed a treaty of accession merging the kingdom into India. Thereafter the Legislative Assembly was dissolved and Manipa became part of the Republic of India in October, 1949. It was made a Union Territory in 1956 and a fully-fledged state in 1972. A separatist movement has been active in Manipur since 1964 with the establishment of the United National Liberation Front. Several groups have used violence to achieve their goal of a sovereign Manipur. Beside this, there have been demands by the tribal people to divide the present state into two or three Indian states. Foreign travelers to Manipur must gain special permission to enter, as it is considered a sensitive area due to its political troubles and geographical location. Geography and Climate Manipur is one of the seven states of northeast India. The state is bound by Nagaland in the north, Mizoram in the south, Assam in the west, and by the borders of the country Burma in the east as well as in the south. The state capital of Manipur is Imphal. The state lies at a latitude of 23A degree 83A Euro unregistered trademark N A Euro 25A degree 68A Euro unregistered trademark N and a longitude of 93A degree 03A Euro unregistered trademark E A Euro 94A degree 78A Euro unregistered trademark E. The total area covered by the state is 22,347 Akmar squared. The capital lies in an oval-shaped valley of approximately 700 square miles surrounded by blue mountains and is at an elevation of 790 meters above the sea level. The slope of the valley is from north to south. The mountain ranges prevent the cold winds from the north from reaching the valley and bar cyclonic storms originating from the Bay of Bengal. Four major river basins are in Manipur State, the Barak River Basin to the west, the Manipur River Basin in central Manipur, the U River Basin in the east, and a portion of the Laini River Basin in the north. The total water resources of Barak and Manipur River Basins are about 1.8487 mm. The overall water balance of the state amounts to 0.7236 mm in the annual water budget of rain annually. The Barak River, the largest of the Manipur, originates in the Manipur Hills and is joined by a number of tributaries such as the Irang, Miku, and Turivai. After its junction with the Tiraivai, the Barak River turns north and forms the border with Assam state, and then enters the Kanara Assam just above Lakapa. The Manipur River Basin has eight major rivers, the Manipur, Imphal, Iril, Nambul, Sukhme, Kakpi, Thubal and Kuga. All these rivers originate from the surrounding hills. Almost all the rivers in the valley area are in the mature stage and therefore deposit their sediment load in the Loktak Lake. The rivers draining the Manipur Hills are comparatively young, due to the hilly terrain through which they flow. These rivers are corrosive in nature and assume turbulent form in the rainy season. Important rivers draining the western area include the Maku, Barak, Jiri, Irang and Limatak. Rivers draining the eastern part of the state, the U River Basin, include the Chermu, Kuno and other short streams. Physiographically Manipur may be characterized as two distinct physical regions a Euro an outlying area of rugged hills and narrow valleys, and the inner area of flat plain, with all associated landforms. These two areas are not only distinct in respect of physical features but are also conspicuous with regard to various flora and fauna. The valley region would have been a monotonous, featureless plain but for a number of hills and mounds rising above the flat surface. The Loktak Lake is an important feature of the central plain. The total area occupied by all the lakes is about 600 km squared. The altitude ranges from 40 m at Jairabam to 2,994 m at Mount Iso Peak near Mao Song Song. The soil cover can be divided into two broad types, viz. the red ferruginous soil in the hill area and the alluvium in the valley. The valley soils generally contain loam small rock fragments, sand and sandy clay, and are quite varied. On the plains, especially flood plains and deltas, the soil is quite thick. 
the top soil on the steep slopes is very thin. Soil on the steep hill slopes is subject to high erosion, resulting in gullies and barren rock slopes. The normal pH value ranges from 5.4 to 6.8. Vegetation the natural vegetation occupies an area of about 14,365 acres squared which is nearly 64% of the total geographical area of the state. The vegetation consists of a large variety of plants ranging from short and tall grasses, reeds and bamboos to trees of various species. Broadly, there are four types of forests, tropical semi-evergreen, dry temperate forest, subtropical pine and tropical moist deciduous. Teak, pine, oak, aninkho, lihao, bamboo, cane, etc. are important forest resources growing in plenty. In addition, rubber, tea, coffee, orange, and cardamom are grown in hill areas. Rice is a staple food for Manipuris. Rice and cash crops make up the main vegetation cover in the valley. Climate the climate of Manipur is largely influenced by the topography of this hilly region which defines the geography of Manipur. Lying 790 meters above sea level, Manipur is wedged between hills on all sides. This northeastern corner of India enjoys a generally amiable climate, though the winters can be a little chilly. The maximum temperature in the summer months is 32 degrees Celsius. In winter the temperature often falls below zero, bringing frost. Snow sometimes falls in some hilly regions due to the western disturbance. The coldest month is January, and the warmest July. The ideal time for tourism in the state, in terms of climate, is from October to February, when the weather remains bright and sunny without the sun being too hot. The state is drenched in rains from May until mid-October. It receives an average annual rainfall of 1,467.5 um. However, the rain distribution varies from 933 um in Imphal to 2593 um in Tamanglal. The precipitation ranges from light drizzle to heavy downpour. The normal rainfall of Manipur enriches the soil and helps in agricultural processes and irrigation. A southwesterly monsoon picks up moisture from the Bay of Bengal and heads toward Manipur, hits the eastern Himalaya ranges and produces a massive amount of rain in the state. The climate of the state is salubrious with approximate average annual rainfall varying from 933 um at Imphal to 2593 um at Tamanglal. The temperature ranges from sub-zero to 36 AA degrees Celsius. Districts Manipur has currently nine administrative districts. Demographics Manipur has a population of 2,721,756. Of this total, 58.9% live in the valley and the remaining 41.1% in the hilly regions. The hills are inhabited mainly by the Naga and Kiki, and smaller tribal communities and the valley mainly by the Maite, Bamans and Pangal. Some Bishnapriya Manipuri, Naga, Poite and Kiki settlements are also found in the valley region. Racially, Manipuri people are unique. They have features similar to Southeast Asian. The distribution of area, population and density, literacy rate, etc. as per the 2001 census provisional figures are as below, languages the official languages are Manipuri and English. Mite language, Metealon, a tibeto burman language, the official language of Manipur, has a long history. It is the main language of communication among the different tribes and people inhabiting Manipur. English is slowly gaining ground as a common language of communication, especially in the cities. Hindi is spoken primarily by migrants from northern India. Mithilon has been recognized as the official Manipuri language by the Indian Union and has been included since 1992 in the list of scheduled languages. Maite is taught as a subject up to postgraduate level in Indian universities, apart from being a medium of instruction up to undergraduate level in Manipur. Manipurai script Mite Make is a script, commonly referred as Make, which has been used since ancient times. The origins of the Manipurai alphabet, or Mite Make as it is known in Manipurai, are unknown. Many historical documents were destroyed at the beginning of the 18th century during the reign of King Pumhuba. Some believe the alphabet has been used for almost 4,000 years. 
between 1709 and the middle of the 20th century, the Manipuri language was written with the Bengali alphabet. During the 1940s and 50s, Manipuri scholars began campaigning to bring back the Manipuri alphabet. In 1976 at a writers' conference, all the scholars agreed on a new version of the alphabet. It contains several additional letters to represent sounds not present in the language when the script was first developed. The current Manipuri script is a reconstruction of the ancient Manipuri script. Since the early 1980s, the Manipuri alphabet has been taught in schools in Manipur. The Manipuri language is written in Mite make alphabet more widely than the Bengali alphabet in modern times. Languages of Hill People There are 29 different dialects spoken in Manipur. The six main hill dialects recognized by government of Manipur for the medium of instruction and examination up to classes 12 are, Zor, dialect of the Zorzomi people. Pula, dialect of the Pumainaga, Tado, dialect of Tado people, the second language in the state after Miatilon during the colonial period. Bayfu, dialect of Bayfu people, Tanghul, dialect of Tanghul people, Poorite, dialect of Poorite people, Ma, dialect of Ma people, Mao, dialect of Mao people, Lianglad, dialect of Liangmainaga people, Rongmu, dialect of Rongmu people, Maring, dialect of Maring Naga Maring, Maring Kwabu, Maring Naram Sable people, Muram, dialect of Muram Naga, Gangd, dialect of Gangd people and, Mate, dialect of the Mate Athul people, Sources, Mate Literature Society, the Mate Tribe Council at GOVT. Of Manipur Registered Society Council and Label, to Ibawang, Maniput. Religion. Manipur also has its own traditional way of living, which is also one of the oldest of the region. Sanamarism was followed by the Mite community and some related communities of Manipur. Later, it got influenced by Hinduism. Then in the 19th century, with the arrival of the British, many tribal people were converted to Christianity. Hinduism. About 46% of Manipuri people are Hindus. Vaishnavism's school of Hinduism became a dominant force in Manipur in the 18th century when the king, Garib Naiwas, declared it as the official state religion. This was the Vaishnavism of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the great Bhakti preacher of Bengal, which stressed Krishna Bhakti. Christianity Christianity is the religion of about 34% of the people in the state. It was brought by missionaries to Manipur in the 19th century. Christianity brought a marked change towards the civilization of the hill people. In the 20th century, a few Christian schools were established, which introduced Western-type education. Respected schools in Manipur are Little Flower School in Imphal, Don Bosco High School in Imphal, St. Joseph's Convent, and Nerman Labas High School, which are all run by Catholic priests and nuns. About 34% of the population of Manipur identify as Christian, and the majority of them are from the hills. Meteism and Sanamohi Folk religions is the faith of about 10% of the state's people. These religions have a long history in Manipur. Sanamorism is the ancient indigenous religion. Sanamohi worship is concentrated around the sun god Sanamohi. The early Manipuri worshipped a supreme deity. Laning through Saral, and followed their ancestors. Their ancestor worship and animism was based on the Manglia Euro that is, ethnic governing deities worshipped in sacred groves. Some of the gods whom Manipuri worship are Atio Sadaba, Pakhangba, Sanamohi, Le Maran, Unal, Panganba, Thongjing, Majing, Angbaran, and Kaobru. The religious life of the people, even when they adopted non mainstream Hinduism, retained many characteristics inherited from their prehistoric ancestors. The essentials of this religion remain recognizable to the present day but did not win widespread adoption until relatively recent history. Islam, Muslims, known locally as Pangal, constitute about 8% of the state population as per 2001 census. The influence of religious preceptors Sheikh Shah Jalal Yemeni who came to Silhat in 1303 AD and Arzan Fakir Badadi in 1690 AD in Assam, is felt among Manipuri Muslims. There are Arab, Bangladesh, Churani, Bengali and Mughal or Shatai Turk sections among Manipuri Muslims. Economy 
the 2012 to 2013 gross state domestic product of Manipur at market prices was about 10,188 crore. Its economy is primarily agriculture, forestry, cottage and trade driven. Manipur acts as India Euro unregistered trademark SA Euro Gateway to the East a Euro unregistered trademark through Moray and Tam Towns, the land route for trade between India and Myanmar and other Southeast Asian countries. Manipur has the highest number of handicrafts units as well as the highest number of craftspersons, in the entire northeastern region of India. The state is covered with over 3,000 square kilometres of bamboo forests, making it one of India Euro unregistered trademark s largest contributor to its bamboo industry. Manipur produced about 0.1 GW of electricity in 2010 with its infrastructure. But the state has significant hydroelectric power generation potential, estimated to be over 2 GW. As of 2010, if even half of this potential is realized, it will ensure 24-7 electricity supply to all Manipuri residents, as well generate a surplus for sale to neighboring states in India as well as the Myanmar grid. Manipur's climate and soil conditions make it ideally suited for various horticultural crops. It is also home to a wide variety of rare and exotic medicinal and aromatic plants. Some cash crops suited for Manipur include lychee, cashew nuts, walnuts, orange, lemon, pineapple, papaya, passion fruit, peach, pear and plum. Transportation infrastructure, Tulhil Airport, Chain Ganju, Imphal, the only airport of Manipur, connects directly with Delhi, Kolkata, Guwahati, and Agatala. It has been upgraded as an international airport, and as India's second largest airport in the northeast it serves as a key logistical center for northeastern states. National Highway NH39 links Manipur with the rest of the country through the railway stations at Dimapur and Nagaland at a distance of 215 km from Imphal. National Highway 53 connects Manipur with another railway station at Silchar and Assam, which is 269 km away from Imphal. The road network of Manipur, with a length of 7,170 km connects all the important towns and distant villages. In 2010, Indian government announced that it is considering an Asian infrastructure network from Manipur to Vietnam. The proposed Trans-Asian Railway Network, if constructed, will pass through Manipur, connecting India to Burma, Thailand, Malaysia and Singapore. Culture The Manipuri have a rich culture. Theatre has been part of the Loi Haroba festival since time immemorial. Theatre in Manipur is divided into religious and secular, based on texts. The former is the adaptation of religious epics or some episodes from them, performed mainly in the sacred sphere such as temples. Within this, Goralila, Sanjenba, and Ardukl can be incorporated. They are seasonal performances commanding spiritual devotions among the audience. Secular theatre is mostly confined to themes that are not religious. It is performed in the secular or profane spheres. Within these are Shumang Leela and Fampak Leela. Shumang Leela is very popular. Etymologically Shumang Leela is the combination of Shumang and Leela. It is performed in an area of 13 13 ft in the centre of any open space, in a very simple style without a raised stage, set design, or heavy props such as curtains, background scenery, visual effects, etc. It uses one table and two chairs, kept on one side of the performance space. Its claim as the theatre of the masses is underlined by the way it is performed in the middle of an audience that surrounds it, leaving one passage as both entrance and exit. Shumang Leela is performed by a touring band of 12 Euro 13 professional artists on invitation basis. These troops may be exclusively female or exclusively male. In each case, one sex plays all parts. Historically Shumang Leela was based in Vijay Leela, performed during the reign of Ninkarol Chandrakirti, though traces of it were already present in the episode of Tangkhal Narabi Lao Terba of Loi Haroba Festival. Then it was succeeded by such plays as Ram Leela, Sabapaba, Kabul Leela, etc. But the real Shumang Leela with various raises was ushered in with the epic play Harish Khandra. Then it was followed by others such as Mirabacharan, Thok Leela, etc. 
One of the most successful of this era was Moira and Paba, an epic play based on the legendary lovers Kamba and Hwabai of Moira. On the other hand, the world of Fampak Leela performed in the proscenium theatre is similar, in form, to the Western theatrical model and Indian Natasastra model though its contents are indigenous. The so-called modern theatre descended on Manipurai theatre culture with the performance of Pravas Milan under the enthusiastic patronage of Sir Church and Maharaj. The pace of theatrical movement was geared up with the institution of various groups such as Manipur Dramatic Union, Aryan Theatre, Chitrangada Natya Mundur, Society Theatre, Rupmahal, Cosmopolitan Dramatic Union, and the Chorus Repertory Theatre of Rathanthayam. These groups started experimenting with various types of plays apart from historical and Pauranic ones. Today Manipurai theatre is well respected because of various excellent productions shown in various parts of the country and abroad. Manipurai plays, both Shumang Leela and Stage Leela, have been a regular feature in the annual festival of the National School of Drama, New Delhi. ISKCON led by Bhaktisvayupadema Dara Swami started a network of schools in northeastern India where more than 4,000 students receive education centered on Vaishnava spiritual values. In 1989 he founded Ranganaketa on Manipurai Cultural Arts Troupe, which has approximately 600 performances at over 300 venues in over 15 countries. Ranganaketan is a group of more than 20 dancers, musicians, singers, martial artists, choreographers and craft artisans. Some of them have received international acclaim. Manipurai dance, a classical form of Manipurai dance based and inspired by the theme of Lord Krishna and his beloved Radha's love story and the devotion of the gopi toward Lord Krishna. This graceful and slow movement of the dance makes it one of the most acclaimed classical dances of India. The costume is elegant, as there are nicely embroidered clothes that give luster to the beauty of the art. This dance is very exciting dance. ISKCON led by Bhaktisvayupa Damoda Swami has put Manipurai Reza Leela on global map with its performance in many prestigious events like many World Conference on Science and Religion, United Religions Initiative Conference, Kamar Mela and many more. Chorus Repertory Theatre the auditorium of the theatre is situated on the outskirts of Imphal and the campus stretches for about two acres. It has housing and working quarters to accommodate a self-sufficiency of life. The Theatre Association has churned out internationally acclaimed plays like Chakravayana and Uttar Priyadashi. Its 25 years of existence in theatre had disciplined its performers to a world of excellence. Chakravaya taken from the Mahabharat epic had won Fringe Firsts Award. 1987 at the Edinburgh International Theatre Festival. Chakravaya deals with the story of Apaimanu of his last battle and approaching death whereas Uttar Priyadashi is an 80-minute exposition of Emperor Ashoka's redemption. Indigenous outdoor games, the outdoor sports include Mikna, Mikna Kangje, Sagal Kangje, Ayabai Lakpi, Uleobi, Hayang Tannaba, and Arambai Humba. Mikna. Mikna is a popular form of wrestling. It has rules agreed by all Mikna organizations and with royal consent. Traditionally the game is controlled and organized by Pana Loi Sang of the ruler of the state and village organizations. There are four, Panazayalup, Naharup, Karbam and Lafum, who control all fixtures and times for the games and the state meet in which the final is invariably graced by the ruler who presents the title of Jatra for the year along with reward of Thumb Nama and Nabong Phi, exemption of all state duties and Ningam Samjin dress. The game has two categories Takwe Shnabi, Nautom. Mikna Kangje, Mikna Kangje is a game which combines the arts of Mikna and Kangje to play the ball made of seasoned bamboo roots. The origin of the game goes back well to anaconic worship. People celebrate Lihuruba and include this item to mark the end of the festival. It was believed that Kajemba Ningtho patronized this game. In later generations, the game is organized in the villages. Presently, associations are formed in Panas with rules and regulations of Mikna Kangje. The game is played by two teams of seven players each. All players hold a natural cane stick with root, gradually increasing the size of the root to the length of about 7 inches to play the ball made out of seasoned bamboo roots of approximately a diameter of 4 inches. 
the players put on Mike Nakissi fi jet to secure protection and holding each other. At present a short pant is added below Kissy. The game starts by throwing the ball in front of the panjembas of the two teams standing face to face to each other on the line. If possible they can pick up the ball and run. The process of running, obstructing and wrestling to get past the obstruction so as to put the ball on the goal line of the ground is allowed, pun on but and end of the game is given by the command of the umpire. The rules for the game are known as Kangjay Lon. Sagal Kangjay. According to Kaitharal Kumbaba, a royal chronicle of Manipur King Kangba who ruled Manipur much earlier than Nong Dalair and Pak Hangba introduced Sagal Kangjay. It was played regularly by 17th century during the reign of King Kajemba under newly framed rules of the game. The game requires perfect control of the pony, the stick and the ball with proficiency of riding. The sense of fair play was the main guided factor of this game. This is played between two teams of seven players aside. During the time of the late Sir Chandra Kirti Singh, KCSI Maharaja of Manipur introduced regular game at Mapal Kangjai Bung on the ground of Sana Lamju being 1 Lamju equal to 6 FT. The game can be played in smaller ground also if occasion demands. Captain Robert Stewart and Lieutenant Joseph Shearer of British colonial era watched locals play this rules based Pula or Sigal Kangjai game in 1859, rules they spread as polo, first to Calcutta and then in England. Joseph Ford Shiro is now celebrated as the father of English polo, and Manipur as part of polo legend. Polo spread rapidly, and by 1900 was part of Summer Olympics. Manipur has produced players of outstanding calibers like Jubaraj Bhattai and Georgi is legendary player described by Mrs. Grimwood. After 1891, Manipur produced outstanding players like OJHA Tombai and Shyamjai Sharma who never had the chance to play an international tournament. Iyabai Lakpi, Iyabai Lakpi is a traditional full contact game played in Manipur, India, using a coconut, which has some notable similarities to rugby. Iyabai Lakpi literally means coconut snatching. The coconut is greased to make it slippery. There are rules of the game, as with all Manipur sports. It is played on the lush green turf. Each site has seven players in a field with about 45 x 18 meters in area. The goal post is 4.5 x 3 meters box in the central portion of the goal line. The coconut serves the purpose of a ball and is offered to the king, the chief guest or the judges before the game begins. The aim is to run while carrying the greased coconut and physically cross over the goal line while the other team tackles and blocks any such attempt as well as tries to grab the coconut and score on its own. In Manipur's long history, Iyabai Lakpi was the annual official game, attended by the king, over the Hindu festival of Sri Govindaji. It is like the game of rugby, or American football. Ulaubi, Ulaubi is an outdoor game mainly played by females. Maite mythology believes that Umanglai Hello I Tourette played this game on the courtyard of the temple of Umangli Lerembai. The number of participants is not fixed but are divided into two groups. Players are divided as into raiders or defenders. The raiders say without stopping as long as they can continue and try to touch the avoiders. If a raider touches an avoider while saying ooh, the avoider is out. This process goes on till all avoiders are out or surrender. If a raider fails to say you, or is out of breath, the raider is out. Points are counted on the elimination of raiders' defenders. If raiders are tired they declare for change and a time limit is decided on. The principles of Ularubi are very similar to Kabaddi in India. The ground is not marked. Normally the open space in the premises of the house or temple is used for the game. Ularubi, sometimes spelled Wularubi, is very popular with girls and a source of talent in Kabaddi. Hayang Tan Naba Hayang Tan Naba is a traditional boat rowing race and festivity of the Panas. This is held during the month of November. This was introduced during the time of Ninkharal Kunjorba, the second son of King Kajemba, who dug the Kangla moat around the palace to make it impregnable in the year of 1660 after he ascended the throne in 1652. In the traditional function two boats to Nei are detailed for leaders known as Tangmai Lapa. In each boat 40 heroes operate the boat. 
the boat which reaches the finishing line is the winner and all boatsmen raise their oars high in the air as a sign of reaching the finishing line first and thus the winner of the race is declared. The leader pays his respect to the deity and the king of Manipur. Aram by Humba, people of Manipur are very fond of riding horses especially those who are in the village near the breeding areas. Since the ponies are easily available, the young boys get the chance of riding ponies without saddle on horseback. Sometimes they ride horse using a rope in place of regular bridle throwing branches of small trees in place of arambai. This practice helped the Manipur arambai force as a martial art which was very much required during the advance and withdrawal of forces. This art was very popular as an indigenous game of the youth of Manipur. This game is displayed even now, during the festival Kwok Jatra after Durga Puja. Apart from these games, some outdoor games, which are played by children, are in a position of extinction. Some games like Kutlok P, Vibal Tumba, Chafal Thugaibi etc. remain very popular game elsewhere, such as in Cambodia. They are played especially during the Khmer New Year. Indigenous Indoor Games, Kang Kang is played by both male and female Miatis of Manipur. Manipur is believed Kang is a game played by deity Porn Thuabai. It is also believed that Manipuras began to play this game well before Vaishnavism came to Manipur. It is played under a shed of building on an earth ground smoothly leveled to suit the course of the Kang the target on the court. It is well marked for the respective positions of the players of both to hit the target on the court. It has rules and regulations formed by the associations to suit the occasions of the games either for competitive tournaments or friendly entertainment. The dignitaries of the palace, even queen and king also participated on social functions. In olden days Kang was played during summer, starting from Shiroba to Kang Chingba. Presently the game is played in several tournaments throughout the year, organized by the associations. Rules and regulations have been modified to suit the improved process of the game. Festivals The various festivals of Manipur are Luingai Ni Ningol Trakuba, Yangshang, Ramzanid, Kut, Gangai, Champa, Christmas, Shiroba, Kang and Yakru Hidoingba. Most of these festivals are usually celebrated on the basis of lunar calendar. Almost every festival celebrated in other states of India is observed here and it makes Manipur a mini metropolis. Ningol Trakuba, a social festival of the Maitais and many communities of Manipur where the married women are invited to a feast at their parental house along with their children. Besides the feast, gifts are given to the women invitees and to their children. It is the festival that binds and revives the family relations between the girls married away and the parental family. Nowadays, other communities have also started celebrating this kind of a family bonding festival. It is held every year on the second lunar day of Hiranju. Ningal can mean a family's woman or a girl child and is not necessarily married. Cut, a post-harvest festival predominantly celebrated by Kikichi and Zomi tribes in Minipa has become one of the leading festivals of the state. Cut is not restricted to a particular community or tribe but the whole state populace participates in merriment. On November 1st of every year the state declared holiday for cut celebration. The festival is marked by various cultural events such as traditional dances, folk dances, songs, sports and the most popular miscut contest. It is a festival of peace and thanksgiving to the Almighty for the harvests. Yangshang, Yangshang is one of the colorful and biggest festival of Manipur now it is mixed up with Holy Festival. The actual name of Yangshang is Yangol Shang in remembrance of Manipurai god Pakhangba play often in a small hut. It is celebrated for five days starting from the full moon of Lamtath or the last month of Manipurai month. At the first day of Yazhang Yangol Shang will make and burn just after the sunset with a spiritual function in every Liakai that is village or sub-villages that have their names that is called Yangol Shang Mary Thorba, and just after burned Yangol Shang the children beg for some monies in every house that is called Nakath Hang. In the second and third days girls goes to their relatives for their Nakath Hang and block roads with ropes for some monies. In the fourth and fifth days boys starting to pour or splash water one another etc. Another feature of this premier festival is the Thubal Chongba. The boys from various places will come to the side of the festival and dance with the girls by holding onto their hands and moving in circles. Christmas, 
the hill dwellers consisting of various tribes in Minipur are Christians and celebrate Christmas for two days with prayers, reading of gospels, eating, singing of hymns, lectures on Christ, sports etc. It is usually observed on December 24 and 25. The Nagas are the second largest people in terms of population next to the Maite people. Few of them living in the plain area but most of them living in the hill area from generation to generation. Nowadays, one can find a small but rapidly expanding Maite Christian population both in the urban and rural areas. Pangal Festivals The Pangals observed Id al Fight festival as in other Muslim world. During this month of Ramzan, Pangals practice denial by taking a fast, abstaining from eating and drinking, from pre dawn till sunset, and offer prayers for all. After the 30th day of Ramadan, when the new moon is visible, they break fast, which is also popularly known as Id al Fight. They offer prayers at the mosques, have delicious dishes, exchange greetings, and call on the friends and relatives. Children play with crackers, balloons, toy guns with friends and go from one house to another house asking for money in the name of it key pays from the elders. Married women go to their maternal homes in the evening along with their families. Id al Adha is the second most important festival of the Pangals in Minipur. Like Muslims elsewhere, Pangals offer animal sacrifices in the name of Allah and celebrate throughout the day in a festive mood and with family. Shia Roba, March-April, Shia Roba is the new year of Minipur. It is observed on the first lunar day of the lunar month Sajibu and so it is also popularly known as Sajibu Shiroba. In olden days, where proper knowledge of timekeeping was not there in every houses of Manipur, a king's horseman announced the beginning of the new year with a stick on hand. And hence the name Shiroba. People of Manipur clean and decorate their houses and make a sumptuous variety of dishes to feast upon after offering food to the deity on this day. After the feast, as a part of the rituals, people climb the chair in Ching located in Ching Mirong or the nearest hilltops, in the belief that it would excel them to greater heights in their worldly life. Gan Gai, Gan Gai is the greatest festival of the Zulayangrong people. It's a five day long festival and is usually performed on the 13th day of the Maite month of Wekching as per the Maite calendar of the lunar year. Tourism Minipa has a rich culture featuring martial arts, dance, theatre and sculpture. Its greenery with the moderate climate make it attractive to tourists. The seasonal Shirui lily plant at Ukhrul, Zuko Valley at Sinapati, Sangai and the floating islands at Loktak Lake are some of the rare things found in Minipa. Polo, which can be called a royal game, also originated from Minipa. Some of the main tourist attractions are, Imphal. The city is inhabited by the Maite, Pangals and other tribes, and among these the Maite population is the largest and it is just 7 a km from the airport of Manipur. The district is divided into east and west and the recently constructed sports complex for the 1997 National Games is also one of the attractions consisting of everything from a cyclist's velodrome to the main stadium. Most of the imported goods are sold here at its Pena Bazaar, Gambur Singh Shopping Complex, Ning Phoebe Collections and Lima Plaza. Sri Govindaji Temple, Andro Village, Minipur State Museum, many lakes, hills, valleys, eco-tourist projects etc. Lakes and Islands 48 km from Imphal, lies the largest freshwater lake in the northeast India, the Loktak Lake, a veritable miniature inland sea. From the tourist bungalow set atop Sindra Island, Visitors get a bird's eye view of life on the lake's small islands that are actually floating weed on which live the lake people, the shimmering blue waters of the lake, labyrinthine boat routes and colorful water plants. The center tourist home with an attached cafeteria in the middle of the lake is an ideal tourist spot. The special treat to watch are the floating islands popularly known as fumdi which is made out of the tangle of watery weeds and other plants. For a nominal fee, People can hire small boats and see the way of life on these floating islands. The wetland is swampy and is favorable for a number of species to thrive on. It is in the district of Bishnipa. Etymology of Loktak is Lok equals stream and Tark equals the end. Sendra Park and Resort is opening on the top of Sendra Hills and attracting the tourist. Hills and Valleys, 
Kanna is a hillock about 921 meters above sea level and a sacred place of the Manipuri Hindus. So goes the story that one night, Sri Govindaji appeared in the dream of his devotee, Sri Ji Singh Maharaja and asked the saintly king to install in a temple, an image of Sri Govindaji. It was to be carved out of a jackfruit tree, which was then growing at Kana. The scenery in this place is charming and the hill shrubs and natural surroundings give the place a religious atmosphere. It is only 29 km from Imphal. The Dza One Kortaku Valley is a sight to behold. It is located in Sinapati district bordering with Kohima. This valley is well known for its natural beauty, seasonal flowers and the overall flora and fauna. The one quarter coup derives its meaning from the Anjami Ma word which translates to cold water referring to the ice-cold stream that flows through the valley. It is situated at an altitude of 2438 m above sea level, behind the Jape for one quarter peak located in Nagaland. The reds are one quarter coup lily is found only in this valley, ecotourism. Kabulam J National Park, 48 km away from Imphal is in Abadov rare and endangered species of brow antlered deer. This ecosystem is home to 17 rare species of mammals. The greenery of the place and the moderate temperature makes a pleasant experience to visit. It is the only floating national park of the world. 6 km to the west of Imphal, at the foot of the pine-growing hillocks at Iwa Zemba on the Imphal Kanchuk Road are the zoological gardens. Some brow antlered deer, one of the rarest deers in the world, and the state animal is housed here. Of Manipur, Imphal and Mate Literature Society, Mate Label, published with the permission and forwarding of the Director, Art and Culture, GOVT. Of Manipur, Imphal. Waterfalls, a popular tourist and picnic spot in Sadu Shiru is known as Sadu Shiru Waterfall 27 km from Imphal, in the Sadler Hill area, Sinapati district. Hundreds of tourists flock to this place to enjoy the view of this waterfall and the natural beauty surrounding it. Consisting of three falls with the first fall about 30 meters high. To its vicinity, a newly built park or garden, a gate park, is situated. It is owned and managed by Kamlantili and Avicham Kirap. Natural Caves, Thorlin Cave, one of the historical site of Manipur under Tamanglong district around 185 kms from state capital and around 30 kms from Tamanglong district headquarter in north side. From Thorland village, this cave is 4 to 5 kilometers. Kankui cave is another remarkable natural limestone cave in UKHRUL district. The big hall in the cave is the Darba Hall of the Devil King living deep inside while the northern hall is the royal bedroom, according to local folklore. During World War II, the villagers sought shelter in this cave. This cave is at an hour's trek from Kankui village. Security and Insurgency Manipur has had a long record of insurgency and inter-ethnic violence. The first armed opposition group in Manipur, the United National Liberation Front, was founded in 1964, which declared that it wanted to gain independence from India and form Manipur as a new country. Over time, many more groups formed in Manipur, each with different goals, and deriving support from diverse ethnic groups in Manipur. For example, in 1977 the Fiopli Euro Unregistered Trademark S Revolutionary Party of Kangli Pak was formed, the Fiopli Euro Unregistered Trademark S Liberation Army was formed in 1978 which Human Rights Watch states as having received arms and training from China. In 1980, the Kangli Pak Communist Party was formed. These groups began a spree of bank robberies and attacks on police officers and government buildings. The state government appealed to the central government in New Delhi for support in combating this violence. In 1980, the central government brought the entire state of Manipur under the Armed Forces Act because its state government claimed that the use of the armed forces in aid of the state and local police is necessary to prevent violent deaths and to maintain law and order. Since 1980, the application of AFSPA has been at the heart of concerns about human rights violations in the region, such as arbitrary killings, torture, cruel, inhuman and degrading treatment and enforced disappearances. Its continued application has led to numerous protests, notably the long-standing hunger strike by Iram Shamalachanu. 
the violence in Manipur extend beyond those between Indian security forces and insurgent armed groups. There is violence between the Maitais, Nagas, Kikis and other tribal groups. They have formed splinter groups who disagree with each other. Other than UNLF, PLA and Prepac mentioned above, other Manipuri insurgent groups include Revolutionary People's Front, Manipur Liberation Front Army, Kangla Yagnal Khnna Lop, Revolutionary Joint Committee, Kangla Pak Communist Party, People's United Liberation Front, National Socialist Council of Nagaland, National Socialist Council of Nagaland, Naga Lim Guard, Kiki National Front, Kiki National Army, Kiki Defense Force, Kiki Democratic Movement, Kiki National Organization, Kiki Security Force, Chin Kiki Revolutionary Front, Komrem People's Convention, Zomi Revolutionary Volunteers, Zomi Revolutionary Army, Zomi Reunification Organization, and Ma People's Convention. The Kiki insurgent groups want a separate state for the Kikis to be carved out from the present state of Manipur. The Kiki insurgent groups are under two umbrella organization, Kiki National Organization and United People's Forum. The Nagas wish to annex part of Manipur and merge with a Greater Nagaland or Nagalim, which is in conflict with Maite insurgent demands for the integrity of their vision of an independent state. There were many tensions between the different tribes and have witnessed numerous clashes between Naga and Kikis, Maitais and Muslims. Fatalities in recent years, according to SATP, there has been a dramatic decline in fatalities in Manipur since 2009. In 2009, 77 civilians died. From 2010 onwards, about 25 civilians have died in militants-related violence, dropping further to 21 civilian deaths in 2013. However, there were 76 explosions in 2013, compared to 107 explosions in 2012. Different groups claimed responsibility for different explosions, some claiming they were targeting competing militant groups, others claiming their targets were state and central government officials. The average worldwide violent unnatural death rate between 2004 and 2009 was 7.9 per 100,000 per year. Media, cinema, motion picture or cinema was first introduced in Manipur in 1920. The first motion picture theatres in the state were established in Imphal after the Second World War. Filmmaking in Manipur was pioneered by Sri Govindaji Film Company founded between 1946 and 1947. Minu Pemchal was the result of the first attempt at making films by the Manipuris. The first full-fledged feature film Matam G.I. Manipur was screened on 9 April, 1972 at Usher Cinema, Friends Talkies in Imphal and Azad Cinema in Kakching. With the establishment of Film Society in 1966, Imphal Scene Club in 1979 and Manipur Film Development Council in 1980. Manipurai cinema got the required momentum and made an indelible mark both at the national and international level. See also, Manipurai dance, Manipurai cuisine, notes. Further reading, Noram Zanajorba. Manipur, past and present the ordeals and heritage of a civilization volume 4. ISBN A978-8170998000. Raj Kumar Sonaljit Sana. The Chronology of Mite Monarchs, from 1666 CE to 1850 CE. ISBN A978 81 8465 210 9 Kshetramayam, Ritual, Politics and Power in Northeast India, Contextualizing the Liharoba of Manipur. New Delhi, Ruby Press and Company, Leshram, Tanabir. Trust Deficit in the Largest Democratic Country, a Study on Civil Society and Governance in Manipur. Ruby Press and Company. ISBN A978-93-82395-3. Singh, Saikam Gopal. Population Geography of Manipur. New Delhi, Ruby Press and Company. A. Singh, Saikam Gopal. The Metis of Manipur. A Study in Human Geography. New Delhi, Ruby Press and Company. Uh, external links, Minipa Government Tourism Website, Minipa Government Official Website, Minipa News Official Website.